Hello guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub. I know it's been a long time that I have posted videos in YouTube. You guys have supported me very well for the talent tutorials. And today I'm back here again with Databricks tutorials. And in Databricks tutorials, I'm not going for the in-depth details like how to, or in-depth basic details like how to create a command or how to create a workspace or how to execute each command and all I am not going to explain. What I'm going to do in this tutorial session is what are the things that I feel like it is important for you guys in your real time projects and what are the functionalities that you might get asked in, the, in your interviews and all that I am going to explain as part of my YouTube uh, Databricks tutorials and in this video especially what I am going to tell you is how to connect version control system with the Databricks or I can also say like how to connect Bitbucket with the Databricks using linked accounts so that I am going to tell in this video now, without wasting any time, let's dive into the topic. So as mentioned, I'm not going to tell you about how to create a workspace or how to create a Databricks notebooks and all. So this is one of the repos that I, I mean, I don't, I haven't created repo here. This is just like a workspace uh, UI that I'm having here. I have already created it with my account. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Bitbucket here. So. I have already one account, but I'm trying to create one more account here. So I'm just entering my email ID here, but if you have one, I'm masking the details. If you have one, you can just enter yours as well. And using that, you can just enter your username and password and you can log in. So once you click the create, create account here, it will try to create an account in Bitbucket and it will ask for like create a workspace and all. So I am going to click on create workspace. What I am going to give here is the workspace name. My workspace name is Cognitive Hub. I am just clicking agree and create workspace. So again, if you have already account here, then you can directly go into the account, whatever the workspace that you have already created, you can just directly go in there and what you can just follow the steps that I'm going to tell you from now on. So it is going to take like uh, two to three minutes to get started. All right, now I have it ready. So here, uh, if you if you see here, okay, I'm gonna dismiss this. Okay, if you see here, it is asking you to create one repository. If you see here on top of it, it will tell you all the things like your work or whatever the pull request that you have and the repositories and whatever the projects. If you see in the project section, you can't see any projects here because you don't have one. Just now you created the repository and all. Here also we don't have any repositories available under this workspace Cognito Hub. Now what I'm doing is I'm creating a one workspace, I mean a repository under the workspace Cognito Hub. What the repository name that I'm going to give here is, or the project name, whatever you can see. I'm giving YouTube tutorials. And the same thing I'm also giving as a repository name as well. YouTube tutorials and I am making it as a private repository but if you want to make it available for all the public uh, then you can just remove this one access level so that it will be available for all the public make it uh, basically it is like a open source code and all but I don't want it I am just keeping it as a private repository here or in future if you guys like it as a public repository you can you guys can also comment it down so that I will make it uh, public later and I'm keeping like include a readme just uh, I'm keeping it as as and it is asking for me like uh, the root branch name or the default branch name whatever name it you can you guys can say as I'm just giving it as main but if you guys like it like master and all you guys can also give that one and in the advanced settings it is asking for some description I'm not giving anything and in the language I'm giving python here because as most of our code deals with the PySpark I'm just giving it like a python and then create repository
so once you have this one so now what you are having is under the cognitive hub workspace you have one of the repository known as youtube tutorials and inside that youtube tutorials we have said like include the readme file as well as the git ignore file as well so we have these two files as of now but we don't have any other files now at this point of time you have created a workspace as well as the repository in your uh, like bitbucket or the version control system whatever uh, tool whatever the tool that you have that you are using but here one more thing what you need to do is we have this main right just i mean we don't need main i'm going to source i'm copying this url and i'm going back to the databricks now under the repos i want to create a main here under my user so what i'm doing here is i'm clicking on create and if you want to create the workspace i mean a repository inside the your home directory in the workspace then you can click git folder above recommended but if you want to create in your user then you can click on repo under the user and whatever the U url that you copied from that link i mean from that bit bucket you can just paste it here so that it will redirect into that main pro project and if you see here it will automatically detect that it is a bit bucket a bit bucket git provider and all and whatever the git pro i mean repository name that you want you can just put it that way here i am making it like uh, tutorials tutorials demos and clicking create repo so here it is asking me for the git repository git provider username so for that what you need to do is click on setting go back to the bit bucket and click on settings here and here we have a lot of settings but go to the personal bit bucket settings and here we have this name right just click on the username here not the name name under your account settings copy the name in the bit bucket profile settings i am pasting that and one more thing what you need to do is click on the app passwords left to left to your uh, in your left menu and create one app password here if you don't have one and i am giving it like the label name as databricks tutorials and i am as as i am admin and i am not having any restrictions as of now i am giving all the right access for that particular repo so i have uh, basically all entire access of on on that uh, repository so i am clicking create so it is going to create one token so copy that one and then go back to the databricks and paste it here the app password and click save if you entered the proper configurations it will say like the tick mark you will get the green tick mark and you can directly see that uh, if you click on repos now and if you click on your username you have one repo known as tutorials demo which will point to the main branch if you see here the main branch is there so we are in the main branch now what we did is we have created a repository in the bit bucket and we have we make sure that whatever the branch that we created there it is synced into the databricks so this is how you will connect the whatever the git i mean version control tool that you have using that you are using like the github or gitlab or bitbucket and this is how you will follow the steps to connect it to the databricks so that is all for this video guys in future in the coming videos we i will going to explain about how to create multiple branches and how to do the pull merge and rebase options and all that's all for this video guys thank you